Hi there. Can you hear me okay? So, um, are my slides up here? Let me see. Yep, good, awesome. So, uh, my name is Scott Hassan, as, uh, um, as you know, and uh, I run a company called Suitable Technologies, where we're um, building new technologies for people to work and live remotely, or in, from anywhere in the world to anywhere else in the world. So, um, and uh, um, so this, this device you see in front of you, it, we call it a Beam, or a Beam Pro to be exact, and it's a, I think it's the first uh, type of technology is what we, like we call a uh, smart presence. And so this is sort of similar to how you have a, a cell phone and you have a smartphone. And a smartphone is, is worlds of difference from just a regular phone. It does all, some of the same purposes of a, you know, um, of, of a normal video conferencing system, but it has uh, some inherent uh, differences. And one of the differences is, well, the way I think smart presence is, is a combination of three very important features. And one is, um, is the auditory, being able to hear, for me to be able to hear and, and, and to be heard. Um, and, and this is a very, in a very deepest sense, to be able to hear uh, precisely and, uh, and well. The second thing is to be able to be seen and, uh, and to see. So I can see all you guys in the audience and, um, and uh, I can look around and all this stuff and I can move. And then and the third most important thing with Smart Presence is the ability to, to move. And, uh, and that is um, the, the real big distinguishing factor of this thing. And so I can move all around the stage and be anywhere I want at any time and, uh, and face whoever I want to face and things like that. So, um, so we think the, these three uh, very important features combined in a way that integrated together is greater than the sum of its parts um, and that you get something more out of it than just uh, the pieces. So, um, and so that's why we call it beam, that you're beaming yourself somewhere else. Now, um, when, we, we have to come up with a new type of terminology when we're talking about this kind of stuff. And so when I refer to my, uh, my, my, I, I refer to myself as my meat body, and, uh, and then I refer to the beam as my, my when I beam somewhere, my beam body, right? And, and uh, I think it's useful not to have a distinction between the two, but some people actually want to know. So when I say that I'm physically present, I'm actually physically present here in New York. I can move around and I can touch things, I can do whatever, you know, well, I can do with the reason. And, uh, um, and, so, so, uh, and, then, and so the thing to realize is that you can move your meat body around the world and you can use an airplane like this. This is a really great way, this is probably the ultimate way to travel um, uh, in, in luxury uh, around the world. But even people who can afford this can't do something that I can do with a beam. A beam, you can do things instantly. Like I'm in Palo Alto right now, Palo Alto, California, um, and it would take me, you know, six uh, or four to six hours to get there uh, via this plane. And uh, um, in some ways, I'm going to show you something that we're that no, no plane can do, or no, not even like um, the space shuttle can do. Uh, I can go around the world like super fast. So um, I, I just want to go a little more detail about why people um, want to travel. And so one way, I can think of only one other reason to actually move your meat body somewhere, and that's for what these people are doing. They are, you know, enjoying the, the world. But when you're actually doing, you know, just talking to other people and, and interacting with them, I think you can uh, substitute a beam in place of your meat body and reserve traveling for really important things. Um, so... So without any uh, further ado, I'm gonna show you a, a few a short videos on, rather than me telling you uh, the, the coolness of, uh, or the benefits of um, Smart Presence, I wanna talk, uh, have some of our customers uh, talk about. So this is one video. My name is Ganesh Rao and I'm the medical director of InMedic Chronic Pain Facilities and we focus on an interdisciplinary model to help patients with chronic pain. We particularly focus on technology or the use of technology 
in order to make our practices safer, more efficient, and more efficacious for our patients. Being medical director, sometimes I have to be in two or three places at once. Having BEAM on my side, I'm able to effectively complete my responsibilities, such as training physicians who are working with me in chronic pain, and also supervising my residents who come to me as part of my teaching responsibilities. By using BEAM, I'm able to directly interact with nurses and patients alike in order to ensure that the processes are being appropriately managed. I honestly believe that BEAM is going to change the landscape as far as telemedicine is concerned. Conventional technology confines you to the use of a laptop for patient interaction. The sheer design and functionality of the BEAM device ensures unprecedented human-like interactions that is much appreciated by the patients. With the continued growth of the medic and my responsibilities, I can foresee the need for additional BEAM units in order to help keep up with our exponential productivity. Remote presence will be a key factor in our rapid expansion. I wanted to thank uh, Dr. Ram for uh, who's in the audience I hear today um, for uh, doing uh, agreeing to do the video for us. And uh, so let's uh, move on to another uh, one of our customers. Uh, this is a uh, these guys make uh, inverters for trucks, and he. Um, in China, a company called Powerbright. My name is Gil Hitsoni, I'm the CEO of Powerbright. We manufacture power inverters for many different brands across the world. In order to oversee our factory in China, we're able to remotely connect to the factory, uh, view over production. We also um, allow our customers to remotely connect to the beam and view their own production and inspect their goods. Instead of them traveling to the factory uh, and inspect the shipments, they're able to do it remotely. The beam has allowed us to completely control the factory. Uh, we used to have to travel every six, seven weeks. With the beam, we're able to cut it down to probably three, four months because we're able to, to be there almost every single day. One of the aspects that I love about the beam is the sales, sales aspect. We're able to um, remotely connect to our factory during sales meetings and show the buyers our production, our capabilities, our quality control. Uh, it's something that's a really good selling point for us, owning our own factory. Uh, and it's helped us tremendously uh, during sales meetings. The other incredible use that we've just had with the Beam right now is we've been using it for this trade show. And uh, we literally had people beam into our booth, some of our employees that are, are um, at our corporate office, and speak with specific customers, certain accounts that they were handling. What the Beam allowed me to do was to um, travel a lot less, spend more time with my family. I can beam all the way to China within seconds and still be home for dinner the same day. I'm gonna now show you how, how, uh, how the interface works and how from a we call them pilots from a pilot point of view, how you actually beam somewhere else. And so we should have our big interface up here. Okay, good, perfect. Okay, so now I need to, uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna beam, have you guys beam back to um, here to Palo Alto. And I'm gonna just hit connect here. And then it connects pretty quickly. And here is uh, Emily, hi Emily. Can you hear me okay? Cool. So, uh, so um, show me how this works. Can you guys hear? Okay. So we can drive forward. Let me see, drive forward. And so I can basically, with my mouse or my keyboard, I can drive this around. And you can sort of see the little arrows. And I can move. And I can come up to uh, a screen here. Let's see. I can sort of see myself there in the in the in the video. So I'm basically driving a beam within a beam. It's kind of crazy, but um. <laughs> great. So Emily, we, we need to get moving. Uh, I'm going to make sure I uh, stay within my time. But it was great. thank you so much for a little uh, little tour there. And let's move on. So you basically, when you want to just you just you can just end the call by just clicking end call, and then you can 
select another beam that you want to go to. So that was in Palo Alto. Let's go to Kansas City. That's where we do uh, our support uh, for the beam itself. Um, and uh, this is our, our um, office in um, Kansas City. And uh, I can drive around and, and we have all these mirrors all over the place so you can always see what you look like and, uh, and check, uh, make sure you're, 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 you're looking good. And, uh, and so I'm gonna drive into here. And so we're on the, hey Lonnie. Can you, can you hear us okay? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear him. Um, yeah, well, so what, what, what floor are we on? Oh. Um, we're, I think we're on the 23rd floor um, overlooking Kansas City. Um, you can sort of see the cars and things like that. Um, so so we, do, do we not have audio uh, to... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there's all these different uh, laptops involved in this. So, okay, great. Thanks so much, uh, Lonnie. Um, I'm going to show you. Um, let me see. How can I get the audio back to you guys? Um, and so, uh, I'm going to show you this one feature that we have. Um, let me see. So you see how it, uh, it detects the, uh, our little docking station there. And this is an example of augmented reality. We're actually overlaying um, uh, virtual objects onto the real world, onto a video camera image. And so, um, and this is mainly just used for docking. Um, so you click on it and, it and it's automatically docking itself. I'm, I'm not actually driving it now. Um, and it docks itself to charge on the little charger. And so we're gonna move on. Um, I'm kind of annoyed that we don't have audio for my uh, in my uh, tour here. Um, so let's see. Let's move on. Um, oh, so now now um, so I showed you in the U.S. and so that's pretty easy. So traveling in the U.S., you can just get on a plane and travel, right? But when you start going overseas, it starts getting complicated. You, you got to get visas and passports and things like that. But turns out um, you don't need that with a beam. On a beam, there's no there's no rules yet for uh, beaming. And so you can beam anywhere in the world without a visa or without a, even a work visa or a passport or anything like that. So I can just click here and say, oh, I want to go to the UK. And so, and bam, I'm in London now. And that's the Thames right there. Um, on, uh, and, uh, and so we're here and um, I can sort of look around and uh, but I guess I can't interact with anyone, which is kind of, not the point. Um, yeah, so there, there, that's 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 the UK, and I can quickly go to. Um, let's see, what's the next one? Oh, so yeah, so getting into China is really complicated, but with a beam, it's like instantaneous. You just click, and so this is Powerbright. Um, this is their their beam in their factory in 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 China, um, and it's, it's just as quick as that, just a click, and then you're there. And this is their factory where they build all their inverters, and um, as you, at the video that you saw. Allows you to drive around and uh, and see, you know, things being produced. Right now, it's 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 pretty. Um, was it late in the day there, or early or early in the morning? Super super early in the morning there, um, and so there's nobody there right now. So, um, hey, hey Scott. Yes. Hey Paul. Hey. I just thought I'd come out and uh, and personalize this for a second. Good morning, everybody. Okay. So uh, as, as Scott knows, and I'll tell you, I've got 10 of these beams. I have uh, two at XPRIZE, two at Human Longevity, two at Planetary Resources, and a whole bunch at, at SU. And I'm not a shareholder in this company at all. I love, love, love this product. It's changed my life, right? So I'm in the morning, I'm sitting in, at home, and I can beam into Seattle for Planetary Resources meetings. In the you know, next hour, I'm in San Diego for a board meeting for Human Longevity. Next meeting, I'm at, at uh, Singularity University or at XPRIZE. I'm sticking one in my home so I can beam with my kids. Um, ultimately, it is the, you know, there's a number of companies that's the most user-friendly, most durable, most work perfectly every time. And I just, you know, as when I've had a chance to have my friends get these, it makes a huge difference in their life. Uh, so, Consider it. It's a, a you know I call it a robot. You call it a beam. 
Yeah, it'd be, yeah. But it's, a, you know, the first time that it's actually made a fundamental difference in how, because all of us, if you talk about your time is your most valuable thing in the world, and after a few minutes of being with, working with a beam, you don't feel like the person's not there. It's not like just Skype. It's, you actually feel like you've had the person there with you having an interaction all the time. So I just want to, uh, for what it's worth, let you guys know that because it, it makes a big fundamental difference. So um, real quick, what do these, what do these run right now? Cost wise. Uh, these are uh, the Beam Pro, which is this model, is meant for uh, enterprise and professionals, is about $16,000. Yeah, which is you know, less than the price of a first class ticket to Europe and back. And that includes the stand, the operations. And by the way, these things can self park. It's so cool to actually pull up near to the, to the station and hit the P button and have this thing whip around and park itself. It's, yeah. Anyway, listen, I, I, I'm a huge fan. I love what you're doing, I love the entire team, the ethos of giving people their time back and stopping you know, wasted time in traffic. By the way, this stuff begins to change everything, right? You're just, this is a deceptive period of growth and will soon be very disruptive. You'll be going to conferences and you know, the majority of people will be there in telepresence fashion in the near future. Anyway, Scott, thank you for the support you've given SU uh, and XPRIZE over all of these years. Very grateful to all of that. Anyway, yeah, thanks, thanks so much, Peter. Yeah. Great. Excellent.